I'm going to start by defining the use case for the networker multi-tenancy facility. What we have is a service provider that's offering data protection services to 10 tenants or 10 clients. Within this environment, each tenant should only be able to view those networker resources and all of the data associated to his specific environment. Therefore, no one tenant can see the environment of another tenant. The permissions that we'll be assigning during the demo are those permissions that have been agreed upon between the tenant and the service provider. I'm also going to assume that the global administrator or the networker administrator has pre-configured the networker environment. Therefore, we have already created our directives, our labels, our storage pools, our media, and our devices. This specific user or tenant is going to have the ability to create, modify, view, and delete resources within his specific associated restricted data zone. The global administrator has decided that this tenant administrator will only have the ability to create 10 devices, 10 clients, 10 storage nodes, and 10 jukeboxes. As with all other networker administration tasks, I will use a network administration console to create my restricted data zone. When I create a restricted data zone, I am also creating my tenant administrators. The restricted data zone is found in the left-hand pane. We right-click, select New, and define the name of the restricted data zone. As a global administrator, we'll restrict the number of clients, devices, and storage nodes that a tenant administrator has the ability to create. The global administrator has decided that the tenant administrator is restricted to creating 10 clients, 10 devices, 10 storage nodes, and 10 jukeboxes. The user are those users that will be tenant administrators. So you can have one or multiple tenant administrators. We then define the permissions or the privileges assigned to those specific tenant administrators. A detailed explanation of the privileges can be found within the Networker Administration Guide. As the Network Administrator or the Global Administrator, I have defined all of the networker resources that will be used within the restricted data zone. So for example, I have my directives, my labels, my media pools, schedules, schedules I'm using, synthetic pools, which is a new feature within Networker 8.0, policies, and storage nodes. I then simply click OK to save the creation of my restricted data zone. This concludes the demonstration on the multi-tenancy facility. You have learned how, as an administrator, you can create logical data zones and isolate users and data within the networker environment.